I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And we're just going to run through it. I really do believe that there's five drivers um, of a sales career and that sales is a chain link system, meaning that you'll always be held back by your weakest link. So I talked a bit yesterday about the top performers and what they have in common. It's not necessarily that they're outstanding at one particular thing, like they're not complete ninjas at cold calling or, or anything like that. They're actually good across these five disciplines, let's say. So what I want you guys to do is grab this worksheet and grab a pen. And the first thing that we're going to do is along this left-hand side, we're going to write down some headings. So we're going to write down here problem. And then we're going to write down weakness in this, excuse my terrible handwriting. And then we're going to write down strength. And then we're going to write superpower. I'm just going to put SP for short, but superpower, this is like, you know, where you're really strong. And so the first one of these elements is lead generation. This is where we're going to assess ourselves. So I think lead generation is a problem if you're asking yourself, where is my next lead coming from? Or you're waiting by the inbox, waiting for something to come in. Uh, It's probably a weakness if you've got Some leads coming in, but they're not constant or there's too many leads coming in and you're not giving all of your leads follow up. It's a strength if you've got enough leads, you've got a solid follow up process, but you have the capacity to handle more. And then it's a super, a superpower if you've got lots of leads, a solid follow up process and people are actually calling you in as a result of that. So just take a moment and put down, based on what I just said, a little circle as to where you think you might be right now. I'm going to say, well, actually, lead generation. I've got 300 people here. So I'm going to say that's a strength for me. I'm going to cross that one out. So thumbs up if you've all got your dot on lead generation somewhere. Okay, so lead nurture. So it's a problem, I think, if you don't have anything in place to nurture your leads. And when I think about nurturing leads, I think about client care programs. I think about communicating with them on Facebook Live. I think market updates. I think an email newsletter, stuff like that. So if you don't have um, any of those things, I think it's a problem. I think if you've got one method of nurturing, it's probably a weakness. It's a strength, I think, if you've got a multi-channel nurture plan. So that's, you know, you've got your circle sales sorted out. You've got your inside sales sorted out. You're communicating with people on multiple levels. And it's a superpower, I think, if you've got all of that under control and you've got a client care program sorted out. So put down a circle as to where you think you are, um, whether it's a problem, weakness, strength, or a superpower. You can obviously, you know, sort of put put your dots wherever you want to, but it's best that you're honest. Now let's talk about conversion. So we've just done uh, a survey of all of the area's top performers in Australia. So you know how REA named 100 agents in every state as the top 100. So we looked at their conversion rates from appraisal to conversion. And I think it's a problem if your conversion rate is below 30%. So you're converting less than 30%. It's probably a weakness if you're converting between 30 and 50%. It's a strength if you're converting between 50 and 70% and the top performers are regularly converting 80% plus. Then we've got vendor management. So <coughs> let's let's start with the problem. If you're not able to get VPA and you're working with unmotivated vendors, I would say that that's a problem. If you're working with people who you consider a high, high motivate, high, <laughs> high maintenance. I was going to try and trying to get at high motivation, but high maintenance. If you've got no structure to your vendor management, if they're sort of having conversations about you that you know may not be great, that's a weakness. It's a strength for you if you've got sorted out vendor reporting, you're regularly meeting with them and you know you've got this a, a mutual respect for one another. I would say it's a strength and it's a superpower when you've got sorted out all of your vendor management. So that's your set to sell meeting, your weekly vendor meetings, your vendor reports, your vendors all set up on WhatsApp or some other messaging platform, strong communication, and they listen to you and look to you for advice. That would be a superpower. Again, I'm expecting that you guys are just going to put in your dots. The last one we've got is buyer management. So it's a problem if you've got no buyer management plan. I would say it's a weakness if you've, you know, if you've got, you know, if if it's hard to sort of find buyers for a particular property. It's a strength, let's say, if you've got like a hot buyer list and, and you've got, you know, 
a, a system of six to seven touch points for all of your buyers because your buyers right now are your future vendors. Up here, it's a superpower. If you've got a buyer management plan, you've got a top 25 hot buyer list, you're doing it like your sneak peeks, you, you're having one-on-one buyer meetings, you've got like this is Claudio's. He's got a 10 touch point buyer experience, which we talked about in Transform and a destination report. So we've just recently moved from Sydney to the Gold Coast and I'm still looking for where various things are. I really wish our real estate agent had handed me a destination report and I'd be forever grateful to them. Now, what I want you to do is join the dots. So to see where you're at. Now, things are, things are looking good. You should have a relatively straight line through here. But at the moment, like if I look at what I'm being held back by, mostly, most in my business, if there was something that I could pick on that I would work on right now, it's this, it's conversion. Because there's absolutely no point, I think, in me sort of, you know, running more Facebook ads or making more calls or doing all of those things up here that people often say to do without fixing my weakest link. And that's what we mean about sales being a chain link system is that you do get held back by your weakest link.